Hello. How are you? Hello, my strength and honor women. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you all are doing well. It's been a, uh, a while since I've uh, done a live for you guys, so I figured I'd come on and do a live so we can have a little girl talk. <laughs> girl talk. Let's talk about it. What's up? I wanted to talk about what is your greatest need. Uh, oftentimes, we just uh, kind of zoom past each other. We have 286 members in our group. And uh, most of you uh, should know by now that I am the founder of Strength and Honor Women. And the purpose of Strength and Honor Women is to be able to have women a safe place to talk about their issues, um, share um, information about ourselves to help women overcome their adversities and follow their dreams, to support each other in our businesses during a time of loss. But uh, most importantly, we want to make sure that we are fulfilling your needs. So as you connect with me this morning, um, I'm at my desk, um, I want to be able to um, make sure that I'm connecting with you all concerning your needs. It's okay to be a part of a women's group and, and uh, everything, but I want to make sure that I'm giving you exactly what you need in a season and time such as this. We have um, a lot of people have lost their jobs and we have resources to help you earn income from home. Uh, a lot of you have lost loved ones. We have a prayer line, 980-533-0623 if you need to talk. Text your uh, prayer request to that number as well. Uh, so if you're viewing me alive, you can put in the comment section, hashtag live. If you're viewing this after the, the live, just put in hashtag replay. I want you all to begin to uh, connect with me in a way that uh, we want to resolve some of the issues that's going on with some of you. I know that my viewing audience, uh, most of the women uh, that we cater to are between the ages of um, 42 to uh, 65, actually. And then we have a few that are uh, 16 to 18 and 25 to uh, 36, and also uh, have a couple of 16-year-olds. So I want to come on this morning to have a little talk. I know that uh, a lot of you may be working, but I wanted you to take the time out to take a, a moment to think about your needs. You can uh, send me an email at Faces of Life uh, at gmail.com if you have any issues uh, that you need to have uh, help with. Uh, you can also send in your prayer request, as I stated before, to the 980-533-0623. It's very important that we begin to uh, connect on a level that uh, answers. You understand, I'm always on my business page and uh, my Facebook page is a business page. So you're welcome to join me there. Terza V. Andrews, you're welcome to join me there. I have over um, 3,000 friends, uh, 3,900 and something friends and followers there. And so what I want to begin to do is be able to stimulate your minds concerning the things that you need for your life. Now, I know that oftentimes we, we share on our page a lot of word, and I've said numerous times that it's okay to share the word, but until we get to the place where we're able to answer some of your questions and uh, resolve some of the issues that you're having, uh, we had a couple of ladies that shared with us that they have loss in their family. I've had a loss in my family uh, during this time. I'm not quite sure how uh, your family members uh, 
uh, passed away. But uh, our deepest condolences to you concerning that. Um, if you need someone to talk to, I've given the number. If you need to uh, let us know what your needs are during the season, we have uh, Phases of Life International Minist uh, Ministries Incorporated, which is a nonprofit which we use to help uh, during times such as this. Um, send us a le letter via email to let us know what it is that your needs are. Um, we are pretty much self-funded. Um, the income that I earn from my businesses, I use my utilize that income to be a blessing to families. And so um, my husband, he is the sole breadwinner of our family. So um, I do that to assist him as well. It's such a great feeling to be able to uh, sow a seed into our family and to the needs of our family during this time of COVID. A lot of people are hurting during this time. But we want to stop by and just let you all know that we are here for you. And if you have any uh, needs, uh, I crochet. I know it's uh, cold. And so uh, if you ha I have hats and uh, scarves um, that um, I can give away to those that are in need as well. We give within our, our community. However, we want to be able to help those that are... Uh, Wherever you are, we have an international ministry. Those of you that know me, wherever the need is, I want to be able to fulfill that need. So um, it's not about, uh, it's not always about money. It's, all, it's always about giving to those that are less fortunate. You got to be able to, on your way up, if you if that's what you want to call it, you want to be able to give to those in need. Don't overlook those that are around you. And uh, I was talking to my one of my sisters, and uh, she had a, a a goal of writing her own book, and uh, and them talking about a blood sister, and she was talking about how I didn't meet her need as far as helping her, and I don't know what the situation was, I don't know where my mind space was at that time. Hello, <laughs> Tavia Israel, thank you for joining me, sweetie. I don't know what the, the, the situation was, but back then, uh, I mean, it's been several years ago, but the issue is this. So oftentimes when we're hurt by somebody, we hurt people. And um, so we think about uh, the things that we desire for our life, but oftentimes we, we hurt each other as sisters and uh, we don't know why or what happened or anything like that because we don't want to dwell on the past. But the situation is this. We as sisters in Christ, <laughs> um, whatever our issues were in the past, uh, we must learn to move forward, forgive ourselves, tell that person, I'm sorry, I don't know what that situation was, but we're now growing and maturing in the things uh, that we need to um, mature in. Uh, like forgiveness and uh, not hoarding things in our heart, causing us to um, hurt one another. And uh, it's my heart's desire to see women come together and understand one another on a, on a uh, better level. Um, a lot of women, I'm 53, and uh, we have a lot of women between the ages of 50 and uh, 65 in our group. And I feel like it's our responsibility to train our younger women uh, how to interact with one another, how to love on each other, how to respect one another without uh, being catty, uh, learn how to forgive each other and move on uh, because we all have different levels of maturity in life. And so uh, just like we have different levels of uh, spirituality, we have over 280 women in our group, 85, 86, something like that. And um, welcome to everybody, even our new uh, women that have come into our group. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting our dream to have you in our group. We want to be able to have a place where we can talk to one another. I want to know what you need, what your needs are. And in preparing to launch my course, I want you all to be the main uh, um, receivers of what I have to give. Um, 
I know that it's necessary in life to be able to function during times like this. And uh, I've been able to sow little seeds into some of the women in our group. And I just want you all to know that I appreciate you for allowing me and giving me the opportunity to give the little that I have uh, to you. I share love with you. I share encouragement with you because I want you to be encouraged during this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share a piece of myself. I'm walking in my destiny. And for those of you that receive me, I want you to know that I appreciate you so much. I want to be able to show you during this time and this season how you can earn income from home as little as $20 a month. Some as little as 125 a month. Whatever it is in your business, if you have businesses, right? We want to be able to help you bring uh, uh, leads and and people to your to your to your business so that you can uh, succeed during this time as well. I just uh, I know that it is hard uh, to have a business and not really have uh, the success that you're looking for to help teach you in branding and branding yourselves and teaching you how to, uh, uh, present yourself before people, you know, um, it's very important to get to know, like, and trust people. Some of you I've known, uh, for years. I didn't know we had so many women from Charlotte that's in our group. And I was just amazed. I'm glad to know that because I've always said I wanted to be able to touch the people from my hometown first. You know, I'm, I'm so grateful in North Carolina, and so uh, all of my neighbors around uh, Charlotte, um, Gastonia, Lancaster, Jacksonville, all of you, thank you so much. Hey, Lori, I miss you, girl. <laughs> just knowing that you're out of the state just trips me out. Um, it's amazing how when you think that uh, somebody is right next door to you, you can just kind of reach out to them, but now you're not. So that that that's that's amazing. That's about how it works, right? You know, you have people close to you and and uh, you really have the opportunity to to connect with them. But then uh, when you find out they're gone, you're like, oh, God, I can't just call and say, come around the corner, meet me up at the store or whatever. So, hey, Bridget, thank you for joining me. So great to see you. How are you? I just wanted to come on and find out what your desires are. What is it that you need in this season, in this time in your life? Um, because um, it's necessary for us to get to the place where we're fulfilling the need, you know, feeling that need. It's okay to share the word with people. It's okay to have moments like that um, that you want to share with people about your life. But right now, in this very moment, my thought is to find out what it is that you really need. What are you looking for in Strength and Honor Women? What are you looking for in life? Are you looking to get married? Are you uh, single with children? Are you a grandmother? You know, are you a widow? I want to know a little bit more about you. You can send it, like I said, to phasesoflife at gmail.com. Ask your questions. Let me know what's going on with you so that I don't know what needs I need to feel. So um, I just wanted to just drop by and have a little talk with you, have a little uh, time to uh, get to know you a little more. I know I send in little um, uh, moments and quotes and stuff like that, trying to encourage you all to engage with one another, get to know each other, you know, because this, this cope is going to pass. <laughs> Don't think this COVID is not going to pass. It's going to pass. It's going to pass and we're going to be able to see each other. I've already seen the vision where we've uh, gathered together. We got all our uh, Strength and Honor Women t-shirts on and having a good time. Yeah, that day is coming. Dressing up, having balls and stuff like that. Aren't you excited about it? Having plays and musicals. Yes. I can't wait to have moments like that with you all. Tea time with Terza, just sit down and have some tea and some girl talk. Yes, sharing stories. Yeah, I believe that we overcome by the words of our testimony. I truly do. And so as we begin to share our stories with one another, hopefully while we're sharing our stories with each other on our page and as well as in person, 
that somebody will hear your story and their lives will be changed. Nobody's story is the same. You know, yes, you may have struggled with drugs. Yes, you may have been struggling with alcoholism. Yes, you may have been dealing with promiscuity. Yes, you may have had 15, 20, 25, 30 men, <laughs> you know, but this too shall pass. And you'll be able to share your life story with somebody that needed to hear that, darn, she had that many men? Yes. What? She was married three times. What? Child didn't want to get married no more. I thought, you know, one time was enough, you know? Yeah. Dealing with adult children in your household, you know? Not spending much time with your grandchildren or you desire to have more time with your grandchildren. All types of things. People have all types of issues. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with sugar diabetes, high blood pressure, you know? Let people know what you're going through so that you might be able to help them overcome, you know? So I want to hear your stories. I want to know what your needs are. I want you to know that I am here for you. We thank you so much for joining us um, here with Strength and Honor Women. Those of you that are, are new to Strength and Honor Women, just know I'm looking forward to hearing your stories. If you're new to my page, if you're new uh, you see this on the news feed. I want you to know you're welcome. You're welcome to come to share your story. We have all nations in our ministry. Strength and Honor Women's Group is a ministry because no matter what you think, you're like, I'm not in a ministry. Yes, you are. People are watching you every single day. They're watching what you're doing. They're listening to what you're saying. Okay? And so people are watching you. You are a ministry within yourself. Okay, so what you want to do, what you want to do is make sure that the life that you lead is a life that you could be proud of. Forgetting those things of the past, pressing on towards the things for your higher calling is at hand. Okay, well, I love you. I appreciate you so much. Again, make sure you put in a, a comment section, hashtag uh, replay, if you're seeing this after the live. I thank you so much for joining me. My name is Terza Andrews. I am the founder of Strength and Honor Women, as well as Phases of Life International Ministries. I love you. God bless you, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care, Lori. I love you. See you, Tavia, Israel. I thank y'all for joining me, okay? Share it with your sister friends. Tell them, listen, Sister Teresa wants to hear from you. Share your stories. Share your grandchildren. Show me pictures of you doing whatever you're doing. You know, I love to crochet. I put on my page, my business page, about me crocheting. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever you have, I'm open to listening here. I love you. God bless you. And I'll speak to you all soon. Peace and love. Bye.